Hey everyone and welcome back to the Air Rifle Activities channel. In today's video I'd like to discuss some basic tuning of regulated PCPs. Well, not only discuss but also put into practice a method which, as it turns out, is quite common and well known in the United States. It was brought to my attention a couple of days ago by a member of the Gateway to Elegance forum. His forum name is Ryan. And Ryan, thanks for your idea and your advice. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank Bob from the GTA, who is the gentleman who came up with this method and this idea and documented it thoroughly back in 2014. Bob, thanks for your patience and detailed explanations. And how about the tuning method itself? Well, it involves adjusting the preload on the hammer spring of your regulated PCP with the purpose of making it most efficient in terms of both shot consistency and air consumption per shot at your regulator's current set point, of course. I will be increasing the tension of the hammer spring and I'll be measuring the muzzle velocity every turn or so until I found the plateau of my gun. After I do, after I find the plateau of my rifle, as advised by Bob, I will reduce the preload on the hammer spring so that there is a muzzle velocity drop of 3 to 5% below the plateau. And, and um, this would be the coveted sweet spot. At this sweet spot, the variation in shot to shot velocity should be insignificant. The shot count per fill should increase to a great extent. And what you trade in for these perks is only a very small portion of your projectile's muzzle velocity. I will put a link to Bob's GTA thread in the description below. Um, there you will be able to find a more detailed explanation of this procedure uh, plus some um, graphs that will give you a better idea of it uh, some comments from other forum members and so on well as you can see I'll apply this method to my Caliber Gun Cricket uh, 25 uh, the chronograph that I'm going to use is the Air Chrono Mark III Well, and uh, pellets I'm going to use. It's going to be the JSB Exact King Heavy Mark 1s. So, let's get started. One more thing. I've added this blue dot here on my hammer spring tensioner to serve as a reference point. And now, let's increase the preload on the hammer spring by one turn. And another turn. And now three turns in.
As you can see I extended this last shot string to 10 shots because I really think that we've reached the plateau. Um, here are the results. Let's, let's see them. We had 10 shots. This is the average energy in joules. Average speed. Minimum. Maximum and a consistency of only 2.16 meters per second, just a little above 2 meters per second. I think that this is quite good. This is the standard deviation. So, with the current regulator set point, my gun plateaus at about 254 meters per second. Now 3% of this muzzle velocity is roughly 8 meters per second this would mean that our our desired velocity the sweet spot or also the knee is at 246 meters per second this should be roughly one and a half turns back that is one and a half Let's hone it again now. And now let's check the results after I reduce the preload on the hammer spring so that I can get muzzle velocities of 3 to 4 percent below the plateau of the gun. It's a 10 shot string, average energy, and these are the speeds. Extreme spread of 3.7 meters per second and the standard deviation. Well folks, this was a brief visualization of Bob's method for tuning the hammer spring of a regulated PCP. Like I said, I'll put a link to the entire thread in the description below. As far as my cricket is concerned, I noticed an increase in the shot count per fill. However, I chose not to record the indications of my gun's manometer because I know for a fact that it is off by almost 10 bar. I also went to the shooting range tonight and I fired 10 shots, but I did not have the time for more shooting and recording this as it was getting dark already. Here is a photo of the target. It's a 10 shot group at 50 meters with the JSB exacting heavies. I think the rifle's accuracy has increased at least a little bit with this tuning, especially if we consider this shot a flyer. I recommend you try tuning the hammer spring of your regulated PCP in this way. I think you will not regret it, guys. That is all for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.